I was putting Joseph and Barnabas together, oh, uh -huh. but his name was Joseph and the apostles named him Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. Like, the, first of all, maybe he comes up later. I just think that's such a random yeah. person to highlight, but how sweet that he must have been so encouraging, <laughs> so loving and positive. Yeah. Like it was such a charism for him that the, 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 the apostles started calling him son of encouragement. That's funny. Like, uh, that's so Jenna. She's such a daughter of encouragement, <laughs> you know? It's like very sweet. Yeah. Hello. Hi, good morning. How's it going, guys? Afternoon. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. <coughs> there we are. <laughs> In surround sound. Surround sound. We got the mic today. Praise the Lord. The backup camera. I mean, backup phone. camera. I don't know, guys. That's it's Monday. Okay. It's Monday. Happy uh, Monday. <laughs> Do you mind if I borrow your phone, Beth? Of course. That's great because I can't read up there. Uh, welcome to BIS VBS Day Four. Uh, today we're talking about Acts chapter four. Grab a Bible. Grab a friend. And we're going to share our one takeaway. PTL. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That's what that means. Yeah. I remember someone who would make fun of me when I said that. I know. Can we make it a thing again? It is def It is a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. great. It is for me, at least. That's great. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Share where you're tuning in from. Are you doing v VBS with a friend oh. besides us? Because we're your friends. Well, I've heard lots of ways that people are doing it. Tell me all the ways. They're doing it on Instagram like just sharing it in their feed. Some are sharing in their cute. stories, which is super fun. Yeah. It's fun to like get tagged and see what people's takeaways are, you totally. know? Um, I've seen Facebook groups. Facebook groups? Seriously. What? Text threads. No. I We've personally received texts yeah. from friends, yeah. which is so fun. Hence text thread. That's where I'm hearing about it. Just um, our text thread. No one else's. I mean a couple of people. I think I've talked to someone on the phone about it. Tell too. me about the Facebook groups. Yeah, there's literally a Facebook group that I was invited to join. No. Yeah, where they share uh, like a private Facebook group, just their group of friends, and they're sharing their one takeaway a day. I've noticed in the Australia Blessed Is She regional groups, hello, Jess. Hi, Jess. Um, that Jess is sharing every single day her takeaway and posting the video and other Australian gals. Are sharing their takeaway. So there's Best Baker is doing it on a group me app. On the group me app. I don't have that app. We should get it. That's amazing. Megan's doing it with her husband. I, I we're love doing that. a Bible study name. right now. Mm -hmm. Tina, you made it. VBS virtual Bible study. That's what's happening. My mom and I share a takeaway when we talk every day. <laughs> so sweet. Wait, you talk to your mom every day? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you well call done. her? Mm -hmm. Did she call you? Tell me how this happens. Mm -hmm. I would love to talk to my mom every day. I would love to talk to your mom every She's day. She's lovely. She's great. She's busy though. <laughs> we should get a group me. Yeah. yeah. Jinx. In Western Massachusetts, my daughter and I are doing this together. Um, Tina, tell us where you're in Phoenix. We're in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Tell us everything. Mm -hmm. Do you come to the St. Andrews nights? Yeah, we have monthly nights. Yeah. Every third Monday. My bestie Andrews. in Ireland are sharing it together. You guys. From France. I'm so glad you're doing this with someone, with a friend. It's so cool. I grow so much and learn so, so much from the takeaways that you all share. You guys, so many of you are doing it with your moms. Someone's doing it with their mother-in-law, too. What? You're so, amazing. That's a good daughter-in-law you are. What a great mother-in-law, too. What that's a gift. True. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Lucky ducks. From South Scottsdale. Whoa, Evelyn. Any groups in the West Midlands, England? Oh. Okay, who's that? Yeah, St. Andrews and Chandler. Come. Which one? The England one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moose KB. Mouse. Was that um, helpful? <coughs> friend. Uh, you could just you could just invite uh, a friend, anyone you go to mass with. Yeah, just a texting friend. Even a friend you're like across the country from, you could just text. Yeah. I need a friend. Invite well, someone. you have some here. Yeah. See if anyone needs a friend. Anyone not have someone oh, they're doing it with, raise, raise your, your hand, hand and then you guys can team up. 
then you can just share it together. I love in it. In the DMs. You don't even have to share numbers. You can just be Instagram friends. Yeah. Just one one heart, one spirit over here. There you go. We're, she's taking the words out of my mouth. Sorry, mom. Beth. That's great. It's I'll very, wait. this is very I'll axe. I'll wait. You don't have to. I wasn't <laughs> reproaching you. I was saying how cool that is. Yeah, I there agree. You, go. you could just oh, do it in the DMs. These, yeah. you guys, team up. With Tag a, somebody. With a friend from East Coast to West Coast. Everybody is saying that they need someone. So if they're raising their hand, they're Tie saying, down. hey, Tie come down. on. I, I wanna, need a person. I want to chat with someone. Yeah, tag somebody. This is so fun. We're only on chapter four. You're not behind. Yeah, someone said they're behind. You're, You're not, not behind. too late. Mm -mm. You didn't miss anything. No. You got all the time in the world. You're right on time. We have a lot of chapters left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is just the beginning, friends. It's feeling very prophetic this morning. Is it? <laughs> You're right on time. This is just the beginning. <laughs> the time is now. Wait, what's happening October 12th in Cali? Can't wait to meet you guys. What? Are we going to California on October 12th? Do you mean... Maryland. Mar Annapolis, Office, Maryland? Other side of the country. We'll be in Maryland. We will October be there. October 12th. Yeah. Will you be there? Mm-hmm. I will. Tell us everything about this life. Oh my gosh, friend. Beth, you I got I your Bible realized? and I love it. I got Beth's Bible and I also love it. I am with you, Cat Louise, for... Friend, do tell you know me. what I just realized? I fly to Annapolis a day earlier than you. Okay. So we're going to do it on the split screen? We'll have to split screen one day next Great. week. How sad. It's going to be okay. Okay. Verse 31, as they prayed, the place shook and were filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak of God with boldness. So good. Are we getting in there? We are. We're ready to do this. They are. Should we pray? Yeah. Okay. The Fiat Conference. I won't be at the Fiat Conference. We're Is that in there. California? We'll be in Maryland. Yeah. Anyone is welcome to join the group I created to share this VBS. No one is sharing besides me, so please join. What? At Blessed Is She Catholic Virtual Bible Study. Is that on Facebook? Hair by Michelle? Pavey? What? Michelle? Let me get my hair done by you, Michelle. Which Bible is that, Beth? Oh, this is uh, the NRSV. Uh, <laughs> CE. Just NRSV, I think. CE. Oh, yeah. NRSV. I was going to say Catholic Edition. There you go. CE. It's a gift Bible. HarperCollins. You can find it on Amazon. They call it a gift Bible? They actually How do. How funny. Yeah, oh, because actually... it comes in like a nice package. It comes in like a box. It seems very special, too, because it's like this leathery. It is yeah. very special. It doesn't just seem it. Yeah. I'm obsessed I with it. I love this. Don't you? Don't you just. Yeah. I love this Bible. It's so good. Yeah. I have I have purchased it multiple times. You it guys. like two marked up. I just buy the same one. Hair by Michelle has a group. Yeah. Anyone who doesn't have someone to chat with, Michelle wants to chat with you. Yes. She has a group on Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, it's find on Facebook. a friend on the IG. Yes. Love it. Um, there was one thing I was going to share. What mm -hmm. is it? Sorry. Oh my gosh. You had to share your Bible. It's so great. Um, okay. What's the event in Annapolis? Uh, we're having our last U.S. Shine Retreat in uh, Annapolis, Maryland, October 11th and 12th. Very nearly sold out. I, in fact, I haven't checked. Is it yeah. sold out? It might be. Go, okay. Go. There's a couple Maryland gals here, and they didn't even know about it. You guys. You have to go right oh now. Oh, my gosh. Jenna and I are going to be there. We'll be there. Uh, in a couple weeks. week and a half. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to be at Holy Family Catholic Church in David's... Fin David's... Sinville. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. I type it 20 times a day. Um, <laughs> Holy Family Catholic Church. But you can buy your ticket. You can find out more information. You can watch a little video on the Shine Retreats. All at blessedishy.net slash retreat. So, Megan drops a link. Thanks, Thanks Megan. Megan. Um, Megan, do you mind telling me if there are any tickets left? For oh, that? yeah. Megan, could you check that? You know, there are absolutely tickets for our Ireland Retreat, which is our um, only slash last European Shine Retreat. For 23 the year. tickets left to Annapolis. Woo! We're getting there. We, we do have there. the BIS Bible here. It's being used as our mic holder. That's what I used this morning to read. Yeah. We love both. We have three different, different, different we do. Bibles here, actually. Then we have the RSV, second edition RSV. Mm -hmm. It's the Ignatius Study Bible. Three different versions New Revised Standard Version, mm -hmm. New American Bible, wow. Revised Version. Revised standard version. I can put that on a little do not disturb. Oh. 
My niece is texting. Oh, sweet Natalie. Yeah. Um, okay, let's get started. Let's do it. Correction. It's called Blessed Is She Virtual Bible Study. Okay. Can't wait. On the FB. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come Holy Spirit. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your presence, your power, mm -hmm. your love. I ask Holy Spirit that you would make yourself abundantly clear and present in the lives of every person watching. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, that um, your presence and your power would increase in their life today. Pray especially uh, for the boldness that only you can bring, Holy Spirit. I pray for vision, uh, to see scripture uh, in the way that you wrote it and you intended it, Lord. I pray that it would cut us to the heart as it did those early uh, adopters, those early recipients of the gospel. Lord, we uh, just soak in your presence this morning. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for this time to be together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beth, do you want to take us away? Yeah, I would love to. Oh my goodness. So Praise the Lord. I just, I just love Acts. I just, I yeah. love it so much. Um, it's, it's just the way life is meant to be. And that's like an overriding theme for me. This is not... Um, this is not a fluke. This is not just for the apostles. This is not one thing that happened one time. This is the beginning of a new era, a new life. It's incredible. This is what our life is meant to be like. And the thing that I'm struck by today, and I think I'm going to be praying with it for a little while, is, um, I don't know if it's a verse necessarily. I guess I, I could pull it from a particular verse, but my big overarching theme is, you know, after all this, like these shenanigans happen in the temple and they're arrested, I can like almost feel myself getting a little anxious. Mm. Like they're drawing attention to themselves that you can imagine like the, um, the temple police, the guard are like kind of walking the perimeter. The Sadducees are like whispering in the back. First of all, how distracting would that be as you're trying to like give a talk, which is what Peter was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he's like trying, he's just in the name of Jesus perform this miracle. Uh, the people are gathered. I mean, clearly hundreds, if not thousands of people are being drawn. This is 2000 more people since Pentecost. Uh, that's Crazy. verse four. So it's attracting a lot of attention and, and not all good attention. Um, so all of this happens. They go before them. I have so many takeaways this chapter. It's <laughs> bananas. But basically, it all comes to nothing. So they're arrested at the end of the day. Like the temple gates are locked around 4 p.m. So they're up there. Remember that they came in through the beautiful gate at like the evening prayer. So the temple gates are locked, which is why they were held overnight. Because they can't... Um, justly try men overnight it has to be during like working hours mm. so that's why they're imprisoned overnight so I'm also imagining like when I have to wait for things and I like don't know what's gonna happen but Peter and John they're like sure we'll spend the night in prison yeah. like you can almost feel coming off of the page just their peace their um their like contentedness with God's will that like if they go to prison, they're just gonna keep preaching the gospel. Like it doesn't matter what happens in their circumstances, they're just gonna keep talking about Jesus. Yeah. And so then, ultimately, first of all, this is like 10 takeaways, but verse 21, after threatening them again, they let them go. Because you know what, what can uh -huh. they really do? And I was thinking, if that was me, uh, how much energy I would have wasted being anxious and like counting down the hours until I was tried and like, how's this gonna go? Totally. But what really gets me, I'm getting to my real takeaway, I'm building here. My real takeaway is that when the believers get back together, they don't pray and say like, God, could you make it easier to do this? Could you, you know, that was really scary. 
uh, that was dramatic. Um, Lord, the pressure is really on. Can you, uh, do you know what I'm trying to say? Can you yeah. change our circumstances? No, they are not praying for that. They are praying for boldness. In the face of that kind of persecution, pressure, they're praying for boldness to continue to press into it. And even when he's quoting um, Psalm 118 in verses, mm, oh gosh, that Psalm 18 is over here. Just kidding. He's quoting something over here in verse like 25 and 26. So even when they're looking back at their experience of the passion of Jesus, they're seeing it through the lens of God's word and suddenly their vision is totally clear that what felt brutal in the moment, you know, they're all scattered like as Jesus is being arrested and tortured and they're all, I can just imagine like panic, despair, but in hindsight, they're like, oh, that was totally the Lord's will. So now they're living that reality of something awful happening and yet being totally at peace, believing that it's God's will and that he's going to work it out for their good. Was that, I mean, that was really long winded, but did you get what yeah. I was trying to say? I think it's funny that they didn't pray for like protection. They prayed for like boldness. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't like, please don't let that happen again, Father. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, really dodged a bullet, you know? <laughs> totally. I, like, That's super cool. I think about how defensively I pray at times. Yeah. And they're basically saying like, no matter what comes, boldness. Super cool. Right? Yeah. That's mine. I love it. That's Thank my you, one takeaway. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What about um, you? I don't remember now. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. That was so beautiful. Um, I think that might have been mine. Just that they spoke, they like prayed for boldness after that. But mm -hmm. I have other ones. So let me read. Okay. Why don't you read some? Oh, I'd love and I'll to. find one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Absolutely. Um, I'm just wow. glad we're not on Ananias yet. Uh, Mara, I've been following the story of Ava Love on Instagram, daughter of Lindsay Letters and Dugan. Dugan? Yeah. Am I, I don't know that how to right? say it. Sherbondi, who suffered yeah. a TBI August 22nd. Me too. Been praying every yes. day. Reading verse 29. Grant to your servants to speak your word with all. <gasps> what verse is that? Oh no. With all boldness. Verse 29. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love praying in faith. And he shared something over the weekend about his own prayer and conviction and really even vulnerably put it out here. Here's what I'm expecting of God. Here's what I'm asking. Do you want to um, tell the story? With all boldness. Yeah, Ava um, suffered a TBI from a very short fall, kind of a, a weird freak accident. And has been, uh, she's in the process of waking up from this TBI. Um, so people all over the world have been praying for her. Um, and so are we. We're gonna partner with them and pray with boldness, like these apostles, um, for her complete healing and perfect health in Jesus' name. Yeah. Um, okay, I remembered. It is verse 13 now when they saw the boldness of peter and john and realized that they were uneducated and ordinary ordinary men they were amazed and recognized them as companions of jesus what i love about this is it doesn't matter anything else all that matters is being a companion of jesus mm. like they couldn't figure out why it was but all they knew to be true was that these are companions of jesus these are jesus's friends and so just to live my life for you to live your life it doesn't matter our background it doesn't matter what we're doing in our lives, our vocation, our job, any of it, all that matters is to just be a companion of Jesus, to be at his right hand, to be in relationship with him. And that's the part that I really loved. And all, obviously, ultimately, to like pray with boldness and pray like they do, but I think it all starts with being a companion of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like that was the defining characteristic. Totally. Yeah. They're a companion of Jesus. Yeah. Which I think, if I'm not mistaken, was what St. Ignatius originally called the Jesuits. Oh, really? I think someone, cool. will, someone will probably correct me on that, but I think so. Yeah. Okay. What else we got? What? Verse 17 made me uh, laugh so yeah. hard. Oh, go ahead. That's the one I was looking for. It's a little different in my translation, but I read The hers. guards gave them a stern warning to stop talking about Jesus, like their friend was murdered and that didn't stop them. What would a stern warning? <laughs> Why would that stop them? Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> Um, 
Verse two, much annoyed. How often do we get annoyed at others sharing what we think is our territory wow. instead of remembering there's more than enough work and too few workers as it is? What's the wow. Verse? What's the verse? I actually have annoyed. I thought annoyed was such a choice word there. While Peter and John were speaking to the temple, to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came to them much annoyed because they were teaching the people and wow. proclaiming that in Jesus there was resurrection of the dead. Boy, that's so good. Thank you. Pray for boldness and to continue to press into it. I love this analysis. I would watch this every day if only I'm not on the other side of the world. Well, we're so glad you're here, Jelly Dawn. Yeah. I'm glad. It's so cool that you're here live, but we do share these every day on YouTube. Yes. So you can go back and watch them. You can share them with a friend and share your takeaway with them at any time. I love this one too. Verse 20, it is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and yes. heard. Yeah. Yes. Like, is it impossible for us to hold it in? You know, like, are we living our lives like impossible? Like it, it's just, yeah. It has to just be like oozing. Yeah. Is it oozing out of us? You know? Yeah. It's, that's like a forceful word. It's impossible for us yeah. to keep it in. Yeah. Um, as they prayed, the place where they gathered shook. Verse 31. Could you imagine this, imagine this happening in your prayer life? Holy yeah. Spirit, change me. I love, I just love that whole prayer of Peter. I'm so grateful that it's included because it really is a primer for us in prayer. Peter is teaching us how to pray here. Um, I just, so I know it's going back in a way to my takeaway, but I so often pray about circumstances or pray for people. And Peter is just praying God's will in union with God's will. More of the Holy Spirit, yeah. more boldness. It's not about the particulars. Mm -hmm. It's about the presence, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I loved the cornerstone too. Verse 11, Jesus is a cornerstone to all that we do. He is the rock that we must build everything from. And once in place, everything else will come together and be built upon. I was imagining, you know, people building something and it just being a rock. What is it? What do they say? Like, it's something you're not looking at. I was just imagining them like kind of turning their back on that stone mm. and like trying to build something over here. Wow. And then ultimately the building gets built on this cornerstone, you yeah. know, but like, what do we choose to like turn our backs to it and like focus on something else or try to build something else or try to do it on our own when we just turn around and like the cornerstone, like everything is just built upon that on Jesus, yeah. you know? That's beautiful. Yeah. I had something cool, like scripture is so beautiful like this, there are just Easter eggs everywhere. Right. Um, so if you remember this verse that we're talking about, verse 11, this Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. So that's from Psalm 118. So I flip over to Psalm 118. And something to keep in mind is that Peter right now is preaching uh, to the priests, to the Sadducees. They know the scriptures. Right. They pray the Psalms every day. They, as soon as they hear one verse of a Psalm, the whole Psalm is coming to mind. Similarly, Jesus quoted, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me from the cross from Psalm 22. Now, if you go back and read Psalm 22, that Psalm ends victoriously. It says like that he's persecuted, that I can't remember everything. Dogs mm -hmm. are like tearing at him. I don't know. Sorry, Lord. I'll read it later. So it's saying all these things prophetically, but it ends in victory that he overcomes. That's Psalm 22. So when Jesus quoted that, they're thinking, wait a second. Yeah. That Psalm ends victoriously. Similarly, Psalm 118, something so fantastic is hidden here in Psalm 118, uh, starting at verse five. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. With the Lord on my side, I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? Mm. He's basically saying, I know you have no power over me. Yeah. By quoting Psalm 118. He's saying, I belong to the Lord. Jesus is going to do it. He's going to do this in his name. You can do nothing to me. So cool. Isn't that crazy? So yeah. they would have known that hearing him quote Psalm 118. Uh, this is from Anna, verse 20. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. Do I have that same convic conviction? Please, God, let it be that way for me. Yes. Totally. Me too. Um, verse 
31, boldness of word in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit never leaves you unsure or doubting. He shakes you, wakes you up, lays it all out, clear as day. The verse fills me with confidence. Yeah. I love that. We all belong to each other, verse 32, and we need community. Mm. Do you know, I thought I thought one other thing was really interesting in this, um, mm. verse 33. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. And I wonder if there's like a little pattern in there. The Holy Spirit has come. He gives them power. So with great power... What was the fruit of that great power was them giving their testimonies. And as they gave their testimony, great grace was upon them all. So the Holy Spirit empowers us to give our testimony, and it's a grace to other people. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I want to be shook every moment. Me too. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Um, someone, Sarah said she likes your hair like that, Beth. Thanks, friend. That's very sweet. I'm surprised no one talked about the sharing of their possessions. I think that's a hard one to well, talk about. Well, that's because we're going to do that all day tomorrow. That's true. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm so glad to be with you. I'm really hoping that you can connect with each other. I saw some more people um, getting invited to group chats and stuff like that. So please keep persevering and yeah. chatting with each other and sharing the good news with each other and boldness you know mm -hmm. tag away yes scroll up these comments and find somebody who said they're also looking for a buddy to read scripture with and then friend boldly just dm them phone a friend yeah did you get your hair done done such a pretty color beth what you guys thank you yeah a while ago it's just different it's just up. i agree verse um 34 there is not a needy person i feel like this doesn't only refer to materially but also spiritually I agree. Yeah. I totally thought that as well. I think that's beautiful. Um, weekday only. Yeah. So we read one chapter a day, Monday through Friday, and we're here live at 1230 Eastern every day. Yes. Every weekday. Every weekday. And then they're all on the YouTube after. All? Yeah. On YouTube. And we would love if you would share your comments there as well. Mm-hmm. My Friday takeaway was that the healed man clung to Peter. He's still, uh, he's still clinging to Peter. Reminds me to always cling to the church in gratitude for healing. Wow. I loved that too. He was just like holding on to Peter for dear life. It was like very strange. What? Where was that? Yeah. What verse? When he heals him last week. Okay. In three. In three. Hi, Shalini. I want to find that. Maybe my translation's a little different. I don't remember clinging, but I love that. Yeah. It was so funny. I'm surprised no one um, had at the end of verse four. There's just such that funny little detail about Josephus. Joseph. While he <laughs> clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them. Utterly astonished. He just was like clinging to them. Yeah. So funny. Okay, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Josephus? I asked that. It's not Joseph. Oh. I was putting Joseph and Barnabas together. Oh, uh huh. But his name was Joseph, and the apostles named him Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. Like, the, first of all, maybe he comes up later. I just think that's such a random yeah. person to highlight. But how sweet that he must have been so encouraging so loving and positive yeah like it was such a charism for him that the 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 apostles started calling him son of encouragement that's funny like uh that's so jenna she's such a daughter of encouragement you know <laughs> it's like very sweet yeah that is cute and it makes me want to really be an encourager and like speak life yeah. somebody who like spoke life their name is recorded in scripture that's cool isn't that beautiful yeah that's all he did, quote unquote. All he did was he wasn't to chosen people. to be an apostle yet. He sold a field. Yep. <laughs> Is that him? Was it him in, that wasn't remember. chosen over here? I don't remember. Hold on. Chapter Hold five phone. tomorrow. That's on page one, right? Page chapter one, one, chapter one. Yeah. Um. Who were the oh, two? Oh, Joseph called Barsabas. I wonder if that's the same. Joseph called Barnabas. Oh. I don't know. Maybe 
they, he was called Barsabas and they started calling him Barnabas because that this? actually meant son of encouragement. Who wrote this? Luke? Luke. Yeah. See Let Luke? us know. Let us know. Oh, I wonder if it's in here. Where? Oh, in here. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll read it. Um, we anyway, love you guys. Good times. Good times. Thanks for chatting with us and sharing your takeaways. It's yeah. just the best. We'll chat with you tomorrow at 1230. We'll be here. Eastern. I'm and gonna... then we're going to be kind of sweety tomorrow because then oh, it's yeah. Teachable Tuesday. Yeah. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you then. So be ready. Chapter five, man. Buckle up. Buckle. <laughs> we probably need up. <laughs>